Hey Libra, how's it going? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, oh, welcome back. It's definitely a great message to say the least for you guys for April 16th to the 30th. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. It's definitely a great message to say the least. So with that, Oracle card to start off your reading is talking about blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. All right, guys, so let's be serious for a second. Whatever you are going on in your life, if you are blaming someone else for the mistakes and the choices that you have made, then that then everything that is happening to you is happening to you because you need to learn a lesson from it. Um, I feel you need, at this point, for the second half of April, that karma will get you when you least expect it. So if you are out there treating people like shit, well, guess what? Karma's going to have a say in that and they're going to come back and bite you in the ass. That's kind of what I'm feeling, that if you are always blaming other people for your downfalls and your lack of happiness in your life, then karma's going to come get you. So be careful, Libra. All right. So as for the reading, I feel like you guys really need to understand that spirit wants to come towards you. They want to open doors for you. They want to offer you things. And some of you are really shut off from that. Some of you are like, hmm, you know, well, it didn't work out in the past. What's the difference now? Or um, I've been hurt so much in the past. What is the point of putting my heart out there? That's kind of the messages that I'm picking up for Libra at the moment. What you have to understand is that when spirit or God, they take someone out of your life, they're always going to bring you someone in, someone new, someone better. So I feel like where you guys need to be right now, you need to be strong. You need to be um, hopeful. You need to have determination. You need to have goals. You need to have focus. You need to be stable. You need to love yourself too. That's all of the messages that are just like flying at me right now. So I don't know who hears that, but you're in this state, especially with the four of earth. So the four of earth is talking about, like I said, the universe is offering you something, whether this is happiness, whether this is joy, whether this is freedom, whether this is love, whether this is abundance, the, this, the universe is like, here, I'm giving you this. Are you ready for it? Here, if you close that door, I have all of these other things behind this door for you. So it's like spirit saying, I have this choice in, or I have this, this thing for you, but until you manifest or until you know your value or your worth, I'm going to keep all of these things behind this door. So the overall message is that whatever you got going over, over here in door A, you need to close it because it it's not for you anymore. Go to go to door B. Door B has everything you guys need. Um, I feel like this is a time where you guys really need to change your perspective. We have the five of earth, right? So this is talking about you guys really... I just feel like you're starting to plant a seed or you're starting to manifest or you're starting to grow from something. Um, this is a time where you need to really open your eyes because there, like I said, I feel like there's a lot of abundance around you guys, a lot of opportunities coming. But if you're blocking your way for this new happiness, if you're blocking your way for this new beginning, then it's not going to come through for you. You need to count your blessings you, the, for the good and the bad. And the reason I say that is because I do really strongly feel like spirit is trying to bring you guys something, but it's like you're over here and you're fighting with yourself in your head because you're like, I want this new beginning, but do I deserve this new beginning? I want this new beginning, but is it going to be the same shit that I just left behind? And spirit's saying, well, you, you can't really have a mindset like that because if you are already doubting before I even send you something, then your relationship is pretty much going to be doomed from the beginning. Um, spirit needs you to change your mindset. So all those times that you thought negative, spirit's saying, you know what? Try manifesting that you are worthy. Try manifesting that you are valued. Try manifesting that you are loved. And then see the difference. See the change that you feel not with just when not just within yourself but your environment you need to be really focused right now really focused and grounded we have the king of air guys um 
one of the questions that I have for you guys is how is your past affecting your future? Because when the king of air comes up, that's exactly how I feel. Are you carrying your past burdens into your current one? Are you feeling like you're in this place where the only reason that you're not willing to go after love again or the only reason you're not willing to open up your heart again is you're afraid that the next person is going to do the same that the last person who left you did? of air sorry guys <coughs> i'm just getting over being sick i'm literally on day nine of being sick and it's just not passing and i've tried everything oh i'm just gonna catch my breath for one second i feel okay so when i'm looking at the eight of air 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 right now i feel like the message that i'm receiving is that you are in this place where you need to rise above. You need to be the bigger person. You need to be the badass bitch. You need to have so much confidence that it's literally pouring out of you at this moment, Libra. When someone looks at you, they're going to be like, wow, like what a difference. Like she carries herself really well or he carries himself really well. Like you can't let people know that you're hurting. You can't let people know that you're suffering. You can't let people know that you're, you know, upset because I mean, unless it's like depression and it's something seriously serious, then yes, for sure. Go talk to someone. I'm not saying if you're living with depression, then keep that to yourself. No, for sure. If if you have some, Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Um, if you have something, a uh, mental state going on, then, then, then yes, go, go get the help you need. But if it's, if it's you self doubting, if it's you and you're, you're self sabotaging yourself over something, I feel like spirit saying, you know what? You can rise through the, for, through this. You can rise above this. You don't have to live like that anymore. So there, there's a complete difference in, being able to change and not being able to change. I feel like you just have the courage right now to be fearless. You have no reason to be afraid. This new new opportunity, these abundances that want to come through, that's going to take you further than what you're leaving behind. This is about fate and destiny right now. You know, just being fearless, going after what you guys want. Moving through the impossible. Keeping your eyes on the prize. Finding yourself. <coughs> you guys are glowing. You know, you have to find a purpose. You have to look within yourself and be like, you know what? I know what I have to offer. I know what I have to bring to the table. And you need to manifest that. You need to work on that. You need to believe because if you're putting yourself out there and you don't believe you're worthy of love, then how do you expect this other person to believe that you're worthy of love? You know, I feel like you need to evolve on your own terms, though. You need to take a risk and have trust. You know, anything is possible. Anything worth having is worth keeping. Anything that is yours is going to come towards you. All right. Oracle card it says, dearest you, we have something exciting to share with you. You are manifesting master and you don't even know it. There will always be enough of everything that you need in your life, money, opportunities, love, kindness. So whatever you're asking guidance about, have faith and be open to the many ways in which you will experience prosperity. Spirit is the source of your supply. The universe is always reflecting back to you what you believe. So whenever you fall into insecurity, you will be shown as 
as an illusion, as if you fear were real. But the truth is that the abundance of your natural state, if you can't imagine something consistently as truth, you will create it. You are so on the right path now. Keep believing, then the seeing happens, loving you more and more every day. All right, guys. So I'm sorry about my coughing fit. I try to get through your reading without coughing, but, you know, I take care of myself first. Um, I kind of hope that reading makes sense. I mean, I feel for Libras for the second half of April. It's really about evolving right now. It's really about understanding that you do have a purpose, understanding that doors are opening and spirit is offering you things. And if you're not aligning, align, aligning yourself with that, then that is why it's not happening for you. Um, move through what you're going through because at the other end of that, you will see the blessings. You will see the abundance. And that's that's honestly what I what I feel for you guys. It's a beautiful reading when you look deep within, within it, all right? So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Know that I'm sending you guys all love and light. I hope you guys have a fantastic second half of April. I will see you guys in May. Take care of yourself, okay?